There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. That's why you're losing the war. And don't tell me you're not, because I'm in a place of great knowledge about who's winning and who's losing this war. And I can assure you, you're losing the war. Doesn't mean it can't be turned around. But it'll never be turned around until you learn what you need to know. You don't even recognize half the weapons that they use against you. And some of them seem so insignificant that you don't even try. They want to create a world where everybody is happy all the time. Doing all of the things that, if you're from a good religious upbringing, is wrong to do. If you're not from a religious upbringing, but you have a good brain and you understand the purpose of morals and ethics, it's still the wrong thing to do. But I got something that you don't have. I have a free press. It's mine. And I get to say what I want. And I get to publish what I want and print what I want because it's mine. And I'm free. And it's my free press. That's why I don't care if somebody calls up my radio show and says they don't like what I say. Screw you, get your own show. <laughs> I don't care that they complain because I won't let them talk on my radio show. Screw you, get your own radio show. This is mine, belongs to me. I don't have any contract with you. I don't owe you anything. <laughs> 